It's Madden NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Brandon Gordon joined as always by Charles Davis. But Charles, a lot of optimism here in the Sunshine State about these Jaguars. They're the defending AFC South champs. They won a playoff game last year and gave the Chiefs all they could handle in the divisional round. And last season was seen as one where they were just going to try and rebuild and regroup. And they did all of those things and then exceeded expectations. Quietly, they've amassed a lot of talent and they expect to make another run in their division. And meanwhile, for the visiting Ravens, I think everybody seems ready to turn the page from 2022. A tough finish down the stretch. Some wacky plays in that loss to the Bengals in the wild card round. They just want to reset and come out swinging in 2023. Oh, I love how you just expressed that. You're exactly right. Reset and come out and play in Ravens football again. And look, they had some anxious moments in the offseason. Now, a sigh of relief. They have their key pieces in place. They're ready to attack. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Jacksonville. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Well, the Jaguars ready to go on offense for the first time. And they're led by the former number one pick of the draft in his third season now, Charles, Trevor Lawrence. Last year, we got the Trevor Lawrence. There's so many tabbed to be the savior of the Jaguars. He broke 4,000 yards for the first time and threw 25 touchdown passes and guided his team to the playoffs. This young man, he's been good since the first time he picked up a ball in youth league. They expect nothing less from him again this season. Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. A man coming off an 1100 yard campaign last year. Here's Travis Etienne. And this will be a Jaguars first down as he gets it up past the 35. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. On first down, Lawrence. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and 10. Lawrence. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Lawrence to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. ETN, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers play with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone is going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. Lawrence will throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. 21 yards there on third down. Now Lawrence on first down. And his throw is incomplete. It sort of looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Here's Lawrence to throw. Open man, this is Brenton Strange, the tight end. Five yards, now it's third and five. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. He completes it to Jones. And he will have a Jaguars first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. Second and 10 now, it's Lawrence. Looking for the out route here, and it's completed to Kirk. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And it's taken in by his big tight end. And the Jags are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down in particular, not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them able to pick up those first downs. Now here we are, first and goal. They've got to like what they're doing on this drive. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Second and goal from the one. Now Lawrence. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars! Zay Jones from a yard out. And the Jaguars are on the board first here this afternoon. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. 
Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 7 0. McManus now to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. The Ravens offense set to go to work and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. All the talk of Jackson leaving the Ravens this offseason was just that. Talk as the two sides hammered out a deal that made the highest paid player in the NFL. And why would they want to separate? When he has the ball in his hands, great things typically happen. In motion left, Flowers. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep, and that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. The defensive coordinators love that. You got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And, partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play, you should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job eluding the blocker, making the play behind the line of scrimmage. An even better job studying the play before you have to try and defend it in a game. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. I don't care what anyone says. I want a big time back in in this kind of yardage each and every time I step on the field. A tone setter, those guys are hard to find. Jackson on first down. A little short one there, caught by Likely. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. I have to imagine many a defensive coordinators had a sleepless night trying to game plan ways to slow down Lamar Jackson. What do you think is the most effective way to try to do it? Well, you've got to be a little counterintuitive because normally you're sitting on the wide receiver one, aren't you? But with Lamar Jackson, I'd sit on the tight end. He loves to throw into the middle of the field, loves that position as his number one target. Take that away and hope you have a corner who can stand up man-to-man -man against a speed guy on the perimeter. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. That's complete, it's Rashad Bateman. Still going. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman, 54 yards. And the Ravens respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But 
Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. And coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On right, first and ten, it's Bigsby. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and six. Here's Lawrence. Throw out wide is incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and now it's third down. Brings up third down and six yards to go. Looking to throw. Lawrence. Screenplay. Here's ETN. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Play action. Now Jackson. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. It'll be a gain of eight yards. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Off the draw. Here's Hill. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Back deep for Jacksonville, the dangerous Jamal Agnew. That's pulled in at the 32. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars' offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first and 10, it's ETN. Adafe Owe there on the tackle.
Now second and five. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be third down. Play action. It's Lawrence. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Second down and a yard. They stay on the ground. This time it's Hill. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five sets, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little, and oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? Now Jackson on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Jackson now. And that will be incomplete. And Jackson goes past defense, holds serve, fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. Tucker's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. 
And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Caught by Jones. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Here's second and three. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football. So from the 36 now, first and 10, as they've got it as we resume action. On first down, right back to ETN. He'll get this to about the 38. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. And they'll go again with ETN. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. The offense on third down, they've converted four times out of six, not bad. This is third and four. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, Jack Rawls. Evan Ingram, 57 yards. And the Jaguars have retaken the lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. McManus's point after is good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. The drive summary that time, five plays. And Evan Ingram able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. Touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Second and six at the 28 yard line. Second down and six now. Oh, 
Jackson going to keep it running right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of games you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Coming left is Hill. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. From the gun, it's Jackson. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jaguars are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively, getting inside a quarterback's head and figure it out. Okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now ETN to start the drive. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. From the 46, here's the second down and four. A give, it's ETN off the option. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. ETN once more. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. It's a game of six. Brings up third and seven. Here comes third down and seven. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. And that is incomplete. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 15. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, 
you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. On second down, it's Edwards. There he goes, right side. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. There was a great article in the paper yesterday about how he likes to run angry. <laughs> Plays like that, you can feel it, can't you? As long as he doesn't drive angry, we're okay. Because when he's on the field, that anger works for him. It fuels him, it powers him, and the end result runs like that. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time, but it'll be second down. From the gun, Jackson. A short one there, caught by Likely. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. I was not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here's Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 20-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. I'd love to sit down at some point in our offseason and talk to these defensive coordinators in the red zone. Tight end is obviously a big threat, yet these guys continue to make plays. Is there any other way to stop them? Apparently not. In the red zone, like you said, that's your guy that got it to him. Supreme confidence in going to a playmaker. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. And Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Again, it'll be Edwards. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Gus Edwards, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have taken the lead. No CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4 fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 17-14. Yeah. 
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. He did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. A shotgun snap and again the ETN. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. And they'll come up second and seven. Here's Lawrence to throw. Second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jaguars have yet again retaken the lead. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And that will make this a four-point game. Touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Baltimore's offense starting another drive. It's Gus Edwards who running back. They'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, They've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yes. I've got to slow down the running game. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and six. Jackson from the shotgun. That's it. And he lost the football. Well, one of the linebackers has got it, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably Three, eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. It's 
So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It'll be a net of 39. 41-yard punt, two on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10. Right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey, and he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to the hands of the wrong team. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And they'll take over here following the interception with good field position and a chance to take the lead with a touchdown. So first and 10 now from the 30. After the interception, here's Jackson. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. They almost gave it right back to him there with another interception of their own. And to be honest, he probably should have caught that and picked it off. And he knows it, and he'll see it in film, and he'll see it in his dreams tonight when it's all said and done. But you almost felt like the excitement had been ramped up, and they were trying to get a big play right after that one. You know, get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. On the draw is Edwards. A spin. And down inside the 15 he goes. 97 yards on the ground so far for Edwards. It's a first down. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Now a first down carry. It's Hill. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. And now Jackson will look to throw it to the end zone, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys have now moved out in front. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in. Okay. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Jaguars take over first and again at their own 22-yard line. 
Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set here. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Here's Lawrence. And it's complete right back to Ridley. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. Lawrence will throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. Now Lawrence. And one more time, here's Kirk. And Kirk is going to have the Jaguars first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Second and 10 now, it's Lawrence. Screenplay, here's ETN. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Throwing again here, it's Lawrence. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Calling the gain of three on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. And Doug Peterson going to roll the dice here. They will go for it on fourth down. Going for it. Here's ETM. And he is going to have a Jags first down as he pushes forward for a couple on fourth and inches. Now Lawrence. And that will be incomplete with the clock showing 18 seconds now to go. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. And that'll bring up second down. They go play action with Lawrence. Jacksonville. Zay Jones as the first half is winding down. And the Jaguars have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, They'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Now McManus for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that was a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it 
results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando. That's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports halftime We saw a report. couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. been a shootout so far we'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half and this will not be returned so the second half begins with a touchback the Raven offense set to start this third quarter but Charles we saw pretty entertaining first half close ball game remember there toward the end of the second quarter the opposition scored to take the lead now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. It's second and eight at the 27 yard line. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. And they run with Edwards off the option. And he'll take this up to the 30, the gain of four. They'll come up facing third and five. Here's Jackson to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll come on to kick this one away. On the return, here's Agnew. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And that will come the offense as they take over. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
They'll look to ETM to start things out. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. After the run, here's second and eight from the 27. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Tried for Kirk, and he's got him on the crossing road. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 63 yards receiving for him now, and that last catch good enough for a first down. Lawrence looking for the out route here and it's completed to Kirk and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Back to back receptions for him and it's another first down. Now Lawrence to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Well, I don't want to take too much away from his performance throwing the football. He's got the four touchdown passes, but this now a second interception of the ball game. And, partner, part of what's gotten him the four touchdowns is a certain fearlessness. But that fearlessness borders with recklessness, and the latter just occurred. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically... One guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Jackson. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. And it's third down. Jackson now shreds him with a stiff arm and he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion so he turned to a trusted familiar face in that third down situation it paid off yeah you go to your veteran receiver in that spot so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations Short throw caught by Andrews. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Jackson will throw again. He completes it to Beckham. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. Edwards now on first and ten. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. And when the defense wins and gets up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Now a second and ten. Throwing is Jackson. 
That's out to Hill, right side complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. So the completion good for just three. And third and eight now. Jackson from the shotgun. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, maybe it's a John Harbaugh never shy about bringing out the red challenge flag, and he'll do so here. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So that a good call by John Harbaugh and tossing out that red flag. Tucker with the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. To return, here's Agnew. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. On second down, here's Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. On the counter, ETN, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Georgia man, Roquan Smith, came in and got him. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them, as he did there. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Draw play, ETN. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. I guess that was a little better. He got back to the line of scrimmage there after the loss on first down, but now you're still dealing with a third and long. So let's put on our offense coordinator hat. They've been very aggressive against the run the last two plays. I'm thinking screen right here. Let him come get the quarterback and dump it off, and there could be some room to roam. Inside the 30. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw. Oh, and that is incomplete. 
And now to compensate, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Second and 10 now from the 27. They'll send Kirk in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That good for 19 and a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. They'll try the jet sweep with Kirk. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They run the option left with Lawrence. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Take Bigsby, punching it in from a yard away. And the Jags have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. And you can bet when they were in that huddle, there's definitely some urgency because I'm sure they were saying to each other, we got to push this one in right now so we don't have to run this on fourth down and there'll be extra bodies in the hole. That's excellent work there at the point of attack. All it takes is one little crease as he fights his way into the end zone. McManus's point after is good, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Gus Edwards heading back onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. To throw is Jackson. A slant route caught by Bateman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. On the option right is Jackson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Up the middle, it's Edwards. Fighting him off. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 123 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Third and two.
And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. Boy, you know, some plays you can just sort of tell they're not going to work from the start. And that was one of them right there. Yeah, I mean, he had every option taken away. And so all that was left for him to do was to try and keep it himself. But even he knew that he had nowhere to go. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on here to punt it away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Jaguars getting set to go. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford, I can hear his voice in my head. Matty, when you put the ball in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. For the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Lawrence. Again to Calvin Ridley, and he's got it once more. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Just more of the same here. It's back-to-back -back catches for him to start the drive. They've looked his way quite a bit and with good reason as this duo picks up yet another first down. Now Lawrence on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Zay Jones was the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night. A half step slow, <laughs> and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Straight ahead, ETN. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. And we're at the 41, second and nine. And Lawrence will throw. His throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zay Jones that time, and it's third down. Now Lawrence. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter number four. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Evan Ingram, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars will add to their fourth quarter lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Extra point from McManus is good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. On the return, Devin Duvernay. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Checks this down to Edwards out of the backfield. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Jackson. It's caught by Aguilar. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. That one goes for eight yards. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. From the 41, here's a second and eight. Now Jackson. A swing pass here to Edwards. It'll be a gain of five. And now we've got a third down and three. A five-yard pickup on the play. And it's third down. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There was absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. 
A little short one there, caught by Likely. And he is going to have a Ravens first down by a couple of yards as they get five there on fourth and three. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one good for 37 yards. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is, and what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. So the completion good for seven there, and it's third and four now. Here's Jackson. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Odell Beckham from six yards away. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Jackson here is going to look to throw. And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back within a single point here in the fourth. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver. Ball's put on him. Two points for them. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because <laughs> they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this little? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right, but I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Here's second and seven now from the 28. And they'll go again with ETN. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. is going to be incomplete. 
critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It's taken to the 26. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And they will take over first and 10. The Baltimore Raven offense returns, and we see wide receiver Rashad Bateman bringing him out. When you're in a zone like he is, what's the conversation like on the sideline between he and his quarterback? Is that a one-way conversation of, hey, just keep getting me the football? It actually is probably a two-way conversation because he wants to keep getting him the football because he's seeing the payoff. You know, getting the ball to that guy means yardage and, as we've seen, touchdowns in this game. So I think both of them get more and more excited about the possibilities as things continue on. Yeah, so far it's been over 100 yards and the two scores. This is second and eight. Jackson now. Going for Bateman, he's got him on the out route. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Jackson to Bateman there for the Baltimore first. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Josh Allen from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Throwing is Jackson. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Well, NFL quarterbacks have learned the hard way. You're not going to get Rich throwing against this guy. He's definitely too good. And this is now his second interception of the ball game. And if I'm running the offense, I've got to tell my guys, you've got to go work on the other corner. The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. On first and ten, it's ETN. It'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. Now a second and six. Looking to throw Lawrence. This one caught by Ridley. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. And these numbers on our monitor are getting hard to believe. He's closing in now right on the doorstep of 500 yards passing. I'm glad that you watched the monitor and said it first because I had trouble absorbing that. That's big time right there, right? That means everything just about has gone right for them and his squad in this game. Let's see if they can keep it up. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Motion man left is Kirk. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about a job he did there, crashing inside to make that tackle for a loss? On third down, here's Etienne. 
And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to swell the lead to six. The kick by McManus is good. High fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Baltimore is offense set for this next possession. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Edwards. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that's going to bring up second down. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. That's going deep for Bateman. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Oh, man, late in the tight ball game, every play so critical. You feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. And he is stopped just short of third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might have walked it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. Stiff armed him. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So did you suspect the same thing that I did, that they were lining up just to draw him off sides here? 100%. Well, how about that? They were going for it the entire time. Never a question in his mind about going ahead and getting it, despite where they were on the field. Yeah, I don't know if you heard it in my voice when they snapped the ball. I was like, oh, I almost wasn't ready to call the play. I just kept waiting for the timeout offensively. Jackson's throw complete there to Beckham. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. 
Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. Second and six coming up. Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Butler, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what hasn't. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Here's Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, they did the part they had to do. Quick throw got the first down. But that doesn't allow them to relax. They still have plenty of work to do. They'll come up first and ten here. Throwing. Jackson. His throw incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. Here now, second and 10 from the 13. Now Jackson. On the move to his left. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Nice solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. Well, this crowd into it now. Third and two. Jackson to throw. Setting up the screen here to Edwards. And he is in. They have tied it late here in the final minute of the fourth quarter. The dramatic score to tie it, and now they just need the PAT to get the lead late fourth quarter. So much for the touchdown maker. It's all about the extra point <laughs> attempter. And I can't wait to see how this one turns out. So they're not home yet. Still a critical extra point here to break the tie. And they have got the lead. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here now, Lawrence and the Jaguars. Down by one. 25 seconds remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Back to throw. Lawrence. 
That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he'll be out of bounds after a gain of about five. That stops the clock, but slow and steady won't win the race at this point. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Here's Lawrence. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Fourth down now, and defensively, Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. they got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? 